Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is my new video on the topic of therapeutic communications (BSc) nursing in the mental health nursing. So let let's discuss about it. The therapeutic communication. Let we start uh, with the behalf of normal communication. So communication verbal and non-verbal. It is of two types, and the process of communication that we have going to. The process of communication the sender send message to receiver and receiver receive message from sender and receiver give feedback to sender and sender receive the feedback from receiver so the overall process of communication that happened next moving ahead therapeutic communications so it is an interpersonal interaction between nurse and the patient during which the nurse pro focuses on the patient's specific need to promote an effective exchange of information. That means establish a therapeutic nurse-patient relationship and identify the most important patient's needs and all we nurse do assess the patient's perception of the problem and facilitate the patient's expressions of health emotions, implement interventions designed to address the patient's needs. So overall the basic concept of communication is to improve the patient's health and patient's emotions know about patient conditions. That is all the communication works and help to learn the need to patient improve and promote an effective exchange of information that we help by the connecting to the patient and nurse. Now moving ahead. So next we have therapeutic communication techniques. The first technique is listening. So it is an active process of receiving information. In listening, we have receiving the active information from the patient. The patient is just saying anything so we have to listen. Means nurse have to listen to the patient. The next technique is broad opening. And broad opening, encouraging the patient to select topics for discussion. For example, what are you thinking about? Tell the patient, yeah, ask the patient, what are you thinking about? So patients are recognize the thinking pattern of their behavior. The third technique is restating. Repeating the main thought expressed by the patient. For example, you say the patient that your mother left you when you are when you were five year old. Something, something that. The third, uh, third technique is restating and the fourth technique is clarification. So, attempting to put vague ideas or unclear thoughts of the patient in words to enhance the need nurse understanding or asking the patient to explain what he means. For example, I am not sure what you mean. Could you tell me about that again? Means patient increase to again and again and again the conversation is going through so you can just clarify clarification ask for the patient the fifth technique is reflection directing back to the patient's idea feeling questions and context so you can reflect the patient's idea thinking and questions feelings for more enhancing ideas. For example, you are feeling tense and anxious and it is related to a conversation you had with your husband looks night. So it is an example just. Next te technique is informing um, the, the skill of information giving. An example, I think you need to know more about your medications. So it is informing for the patient purpose. And next is focusing. Focusing means questions or statements that help the patient expand on a topic for importance. For example, I think that we should talk more about your relationship with your father. For uh, any example of etc. etc. you want to ask to your patient, it is focusing. Theme identification. This involves identification of underlying issues or problems experienced by the patient that emerge repeatedly during the course of the nurse-patient relationship. Theme identification is basically 
basically to identify the theme what you given to the patient so when we have the nurse patient relationship tackle so a relationship is defined as a state of being related or a state of affinity between two individuals it is called nurse patient relationship so when we hear it is a social uh, information about uh, therapeutic communication and process of communication communications and therapeutic communication techniques till then all the notes you have taken from this video it is very good notes you can write on your notebook thank you for watching this video